Greetings everyone, Lotus Prince here, and I'm here to show you the content of Silent Hill 2 that you have not yet seen. You see, I had shown you the leave ending, which I got through my actual Let's Play, in which James and Laura leave Silent Hill, and James is ultimately forgiven by his wife Mary. It was a bittersweet ending, but that's about as happy as the game's going to let you uh, be. Other endings are not quite so forgiving. Uh, I also showed you the dog ending, so there's no need to cover that again. There are three other standard endings that were available in the PS2 version of the game. The first one I'm going to show you is the in-water ending. This ending occurs if things take a bit of a turn for the worse. You see, you alter the ending you get by, based on the way you play the game. For the leave ending, for example, I was uh, not supposed to examine the diary in the hospital or listen to these headphones in the hotel. I did examine the diary in the hospital, but these things don't guarantee an ending, they just affect your chances. And uh, do listen to the conversation in the final hallway. I listened to part of it. If you get hurt during the game, heal your wounds immediately. That I generally did. In water, though, that's the depressing ending. In the in water ending, you actually want to spend the majority of the game with low to mid health. Also, remember when Angela gave me her knife with what looked like blood on it? You're supposed to examine that knife just every once in a while. I think you would just have to know to do this, because there's really no reason to examine the knife more than once in actual gameplay. Do read the diary in the hospital, do listen to the headphones in the hotel, and do listen to the entire conversation in the hallway, which I cut off midway. Once you do that, you'll get this ending, and oh boy, Silent Hill did not have to end the way I made it end. Let's just leave it at that. Looks like it starts off the same as the leave ending, but we'll see there's a noticeable difference to be found here. Mary? <laughs> Wrong again. Mary's dead. You killed her. Definitely more aggressive than before. Maria? Maria, I'm done with you. What do you mean? But I can be yours! More intense music. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted! Definitely more aggressive. Now I understand. The problem is, you're not married. No, James. I won't let you. I'll never let you have your Mary back. And then, boss battle like before. Now here's what happens after the boss fight. It cuts to James in the room with Mary just like before, but there's one noticeable different dialogue difference. I'll point that out shortly. When it comes to it, of course. Mary? James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. <laughs> no. That's not the whole truth. You also said that you didn't want to die. Once again, I cut that part off of the conversation in the hallway. The truth is, part of me hated you for taking away my life. Here's the difference. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough, James. You killed me, and you're suffering for it. It's enough. In the original leave ending, she said, if that was true, then why do you look so sad? But in this, she acknowledged the hate and said that he's being punished for it, which is a good thing. Mary? Uh, James! <sighs> and there wasn't the, uh, clear forgiveness here. Instead, Mary gives him a letter, like before, but she dies right in front of him. 
And this is where the ending really takes off. Listen carefully. Now I understand the real reason I came to this town. I wonder, what was I afraid of? Without you, Mary, I've got nothing. And yes, this is supposed to be a black screen. That is dreams. dark. I see that. It's evident that he drove his car off of uh, an embankment, and now we're looking up at the surface of the uh, the water from the bottom. The letter itself is the same as before. I just want to point out the end of the letter. Watch the screen. That's why I want you to live. This is toward the end of the letter. Watch what the screen does. You do what's best for you, James. Fades to black. James. You made me happy. I wonder if it's significant that we went to black and presumably died before we got to that part. And then, like before, cuss to the credits. What do you think of that? That was an incredibly dark and depressing ending, and it seems that James did not necessarily get the intended message of Silent Hill. But then again, Perhaps the message actually changes depending on his actions throughout gameplay. Who to tell for sure? And you may have noticed that the ending credit music, though I cut it off early, was a noticeably harder, more intense sounding song than the uh, the ending credit song for the leave ending. Also, gives a more of an edge to the feel of the whole thing. The next ending is kind of dark in its own right, but really mainly toward the last second. It's called the Maria ending. This is actually the ending I naturally got the second time I played through the game. Now, just put, to get this ending, you have to never go in the wrong direction when Maria's with you, never let Maria get hit by enemies or by you. When you drop her off in the hospital, make sure you stay with her for a while and check on her every once in a while. And blast through the hallway at the end of the hotel and ignore the conversation and do not really do anything that can manipulate other endings like do not examine Angela's knife all that aside here's the ending you'll get well this ending starts off immediately different she's sitting on the bed this time James I've been waiting waiting Mary I'm sorry it took so long. Is this actually Mary this time? And not Maria dressed as Mary? Didn't you want to see me? Yes, I wanted to see you. Even an illusion of you. That's why I came here. It's not true, is it? You killed me. I couldn't watch you suffer. He's dealing with that whole monologue now. Don't make excuses, James. <laughs> I know I was a burden on you. You must have hated me. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's why you got rid of me. Music's is getting dark. It's true. I may have had some of those feelings. It was a long three years. I was...
That's why you needed this Maria person? Oh boy. James, do you really think I could ever forgive you for what you did? This ending's different than that Mary herself is the villain. How about that? And once again, this is what you get after beating the boss. You're back where you first met Maria, overlooking the lake toward the hotel. You killed Mary again? <laughs> again. God. You actually killed Mary this time, not Maria dresses Mary. It wasn't Mary, though. So he says. Mary's gone. That was just something I. Maria? Yeah, she's still here. Maria. What, James? I want you. I want you with me. Are you sure? Come on. Let's get out of here. What about Mary? It's okay. I have you. That is a bit more uplifting. And Maria's the one with the other part of the letter. How about that? And then instead of focusing on the cemetery, where James and Laura walk out, we focus on the very beginning of the game, with James's car, with his, its door still open, on the right side of the screen. You promised How about that? The very, very beginning. The letter is still the same, so I'm going to cut to the end of it just like before. James. You made me happy. And yet this ending is completely altered by one line. You'll see. You can barely see him coming up the stairs there at the bottom. James and Maria are ready to leave Silent Hill at last. Pay close attention now. <coughs> You'd better do something about that cough. Ooh, wow. Wow. That is powerful. I can't even get over how powerful that is. Could the cycle start all over again? The game leaves it up to the player to decide. Wow, that ending was totally out of nowhere, wasn't it? That last, last line just changed everything. It makes James look like the crazy one, as opposed to literally every single other person he's met. Maybe it's James's head all the time. Who can tell? And again, you may have noticed that the song and the ending credits was a little more laid back, certainly, than the In the Water ending, but also even more laid back than the Leave ending. It just had a more pleasant tone to it. So you never know. It could be a happy ending, as long as Maria does something about that cough. The final ending that's available in the standard PS2 version of the game is called the Rebirth ending. To get this ending, it's kind of like the UFO ending in Silent Hill 1. You have to beat the game once, and then you have to go around collecting items that you'll find throughout the game. So you'll find things called a white chrism, um, an obsidian goblet, lost memories, and crimson ceremonies. But you get this last thing all the way in the reading room of the alternate hotel, so you basically have to go through the entire game. Of course, well, that's where those items are located. You actually do have to beat the game normally after acquiring those. Once you've met those requirements, here's the ending you'll get. Once again, Mary or Maria, probably Maria this time, standing at the window. James. Maria, 
I'm finished with you. This time, Maria. What? He just starts with I'm finished. But I'm what you wanted. Mary's dead. Don't you understand? She's not coming back. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. A different intro to that for Maria this time. I'll never hurt you like she did. So why don't you want me? Also aggressive. Because you're not Mary. Interesting. Without Mary, I just can't go on. Sounds almost like an intro to the in water ending, doesn't it? James. Come on, James. Whoa. You must be joking. Well, she just goes right into it. Well, we cut to James on the rowboat again, and it looks like he actually has the body of his wife, Mary, in the boat with him. Strange. Well, where do you think he's going with this? Just bog all around like before. Mary. You look so peaceful. Forgive me for waking you. Waking you? But without you, I just can't go on. I can't live without you, Mary. This town, Silent Hill, the old gods haven't left this place. You don't mean Samael. And they still grant power to those who venerate them. James? Power to defy even death. James, hold on. Wait, wh where, where are you going? I don't think I even recognize this place. What is this, an island? Ah, Barry. James, you're creeping me out a little bit. Just a little bit. Where are we going to go with this? That's pretty creepy. That is pretty creepy. Whoa! And Chris totally took a different turn than before! out of control. That ending was certainly creepy, and it seemed to be another selfish ending. James can't live without Mary, so he's gonna bring her back to life, and it's implied that he may actually do so, based on the simple fading out when he reaches the island. And once again, the ending credit music was definitely different than any of the other ending credit scores that we've heard so far. This one seemed pretty intense, it just kind of jumped right out there, so you don't know what's going to happen next. There is one more ending, however. I may have covered all the endings that came with the standard PS2 version of the game. However, the game was later ported to the Xbox, and it received an additional ending, as well as a sub-scenario, Born from a Wish, which I have in my PC version, which leads me to believe that the PC version may have this extra ending as well. And I think the Greatest Hits version was re-released to the PS2 with this ending as well. It's another UFO ending, just like the one from Silent Hill 1. Hey, hey, that's right, folks. Silent Hill 2 actually potentially has two joke endings, one of them being the iconic UFO ending that occurs in almost every Silent Hill game. It, to get this ending, you have to find a blue gem toward the beginning of the game, and you have to use it in three key locations. The last location is in room 312 of the hotel, where you put the tape into the VCR. Use the blue gem there, and the ending kicks in. Well... Just like with my Silent Hill 1 Let's Play, I'm simply going to let things go and let the UFO ending play out. There's a special character cameo in this, and you really might get a kick out of it. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I loved playing through Silent Hill 2. I loved showing you the endings. All that's left is the Born from a Wish scenario and the final analysis. Until next time, everyone.